And I'm not talking about the underwear. <laughs> guys I'm out here in Fairlawn today I actually came out to film a spirit Halloween it's over here in an old Lifeway uh, Christian store but right around the corner as I turned I saw this abandoned Toys R Us and Babies R Us still has the signs up right here in Fairlawn I saw this on uh, Google Earth but I really didn't think it would look the same when I got down here and it does look we still got the original sign out at the road and then here's the building right here. I love all the glass in the front. I love this design. And it really does amaze me that this place still has the signs up. Most of them are coming down now. I'm actually kind of surprised that this uh, was not taken over by some kind of a Halloween store. Because that's another thing you see is that most of these Toys R Us and Babies R Us that are closed now, Halloween comes around and it's either Halloween City or Spirit. Let's go look in the windows here. I love all these windows. I think that looks so cool. I don't know how much we're going to actually be able to see. Yeah, just a reflection real bad because it's really, really sunny out here. Anything in there? Nope. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I mean, you can sort of see a little bit in there. It's just so sunny out here that there's so much reflection on these windows. You can see where there's skylights throughout. So that's putting a little bit of light in there. But there's really not a whole lot that we can see inside. Let's go around the back here, work our way around. You never know, there's sometimes some interesting things to see around the sides of these buildings. When they're left empty like this, people like to come around and just dump stuff. So I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing like couches and chairs. This is a pretty busy area though. So I don't know, you'd have to really want to get rid of the stuff to just drop it off here. There's nothing really on this side of the building here to see at all. And, of course, as we come back around here, we got the loading docks. There's something down there that I'm curious about. Let's go see what it is, just for the heck of it. And I'm not talking about the underwear. <laughs> what the heck, man? Who just goes, I'm just going to leave my underwear here. Okay, yeah, somebody... Like I said, people just dump stuff off. This is just an old crappy entertainment center somebody dumped off here. I mean, I don't get it. I know where I live, if you put stuff like that out at the curb, the trash guys will take it. Either that or somebody else will pick it up. But I see that a lot around these abandoned buildings. Couches, chairs, anything that was in people's homes. They just come out here and dump it. I guess that must be the easy way out. To me, it's easier to drag it out to the side of the road. But, I don't know. Here we got a trash compactor back here. See if there's any Toys R Us goodness laying around. There's usually, like, gift cards and things like that. There's part of a gift card. <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff jammed in there. Boxes and... There's a pen. Could be a Toys R Us pen. One of my favorite videos that I made at a Toys R Us was dumpster diving with Richard and Kara Wolf. We found a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look, here's some carts. What does this belong to? These are green. Hmm. Acme. All right. Hey, Acme, you got a couple carts over here. Stray carts. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we had a blast that night. We went dumpster diving at the Toys R Us in Canton. Not really anything to see on this side either. But Kara was like deep in the dumpster and she was pulling out these uh, these white bags. They're like almost plastic bags, shipping bags. And I saw them in the store when we were there and I asked if I could buy them and the guy said no. 
And then, lo and behold, we go dumpster diving, and they're out in a dumpster. I mean, thousands of them. So I use them to ship my stuff on eBay. There's the sign. And here we come back around the front. Hope you guys can hear me, because it's pretty windy out here. And there is the front again with all the glass. Really wish we could see in there better. It'd be really cool to, to see what it looks like. It'd be really awesome to get in there and just walk around. Just to walk around in the empty store. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, there's the empty store. And there's the empty parking lot. One car belonging to the guy who couldn't let go of Toys R Us. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out.